Ow. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi. I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know, you brought the dog to me. You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much. So are you ready to, well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliche in the book. You think I'll see Joanne over there? Sure you will. Fantastic. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others... Well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute! Oh! Oh, there you are! I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Strange lady. I'm not ready for bed. Joey? What is it, dear? Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? I guess. She was a tough lady. Stubborn. Smoked like a chimney. Anything else? Later, kid, later. Let's get through this first. What was my grandmother like? Old Patty Cake was a real bundle of laughs. Patty Cake? Yeah, your grandmother. Her name was Patricia, right? So you get Pat, Patty, Patty Cake. You really called her Patty Cake? Yeah, that really hacked her off. Come to think of it, just about everything I did hacked her off. Like what? Like... Uh, forget it. Ask me later. Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad and Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. So what can you do? You want to repeat? <laughs> Evil doers beware. I'm Joey Malone, and I command the power of light breezes. I don't suppose you know any- Nope. Any idea who the- No, I- I'll- I think I've heard- Yeah, That's too whoever with him stare I can't. I'm not ready. What else is there to do? Just some old I don't need to take the trash. Out. 
you. Yeah. Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. You need a key to open it. I need to speak visiting she's pro is doctor he's long gone miss thanks I don't think I need fuse box key I could probably do something with this Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Whoa, you startled me. You'd better leave. I can't be held liable. I'll get the yellow. I hope you know what you're- You better find a place. Come in. Store. Come in. So you better... Whoa, you bet- I can't- I'll get- Apparently- Joey? What is it do- What was it like? staying here like I was on a different floor but it's all the same 25 friggin years hovering over your aunt's shoulder staring at the ceiling you want to know how many cracks there were in that ceiling not really 54 or maybe 55 I was never sure about that last one how well did you know dr. Quentin that quack he'd come into your aunt's room poke her prod her try to get her to speak he didn't know from nothing I'd just as soon never see him again. What was Auntie's condition like? She was a rotting vegetable, sweetheart. They kept her so drugged up that she could hardly move. Which is probably for the best, come to think of it. Without the drugs, she uh, wasn't pretty. But the doc told you all about that. You don't need to hear it again from me. What happened with that radio? What do you mean? When you got near the radio, the signal got interrupted. Was that you? Yeah. How do you do it? No idea. Although your aunt never let me get near the TV during days of our lives. I'm sure there's some scientific explanation, but I have no way of knowing, and frankly, who the heck could we ask? That's all for now. Right, right. I used to watch that show. Hey, Joey. What is it? That's all for Right. Looks like a few. I hope you know. You better. She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that.
please, please, can't you help me, please, I don't know what to do, I don't want to burn, please, the others are gone, you're the only one, please, you can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams, please, Wake up and help me! Ahem. Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please! Hey! Ignore them, Susan. I'm ta- You're- You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I- and you're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. Get that away from me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. to. You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching, trying, trying to, take to take me, me. but it hasn't it's caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. What hasn't caught you? It. 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 I, see I see it everywhere. everywhere. In every shadow. In every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Who is after you? It! Haven't you ever- Forget it, kid. We're waiting. He knows he's dead. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I- I don't, don't want to burn! Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest, one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie, and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me! Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? How? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey, stop it! You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. You can't keep going on like this. It's better than burning. Uh-huh, yeah, you had your... So, are we going to do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Please! No! What are you going to do to me? Please don't make it get me! I don't want to go to hell! Hell, Schmel. You want to stop talking crap? Hey, stop! Let me talk to- You wanna- Go- Let's see- I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? 
Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. You were right. I feel... safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. <laughs> no! You lied to me! What? It's, it's here. here! You lied! What's that? Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. This is not happening. Please, you've got to do something. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Yes. You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. What is that thing? I... don't know! It haunted my dreams when I was alive, and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. What is that? My yeah. No. It's used to. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him but the- Can't you just- He has his sin as- 
No. You what? what? She speaks wisdom, worm. You are totally without redemption, and you know it. Collect yourself. Please help. What is that? My f yeah. Nothing. It's just a. Used to keep whiskey in it. Hmm. The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't! Why not? Because! It, it's my flask! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well, oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. What is that? My fl yeah. not it's just... <laughs> Oops. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time, it's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died... They killed themselves because of me. And what do you think about that? I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. But that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk. And most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe there isn't a hell. It's too late for that. You see, I was a religious man once, before disease took my wife away and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess, wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. I'm just... glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Ah. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah.
There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. <laughs> <laughs> 